Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, happy Sunday, it is day two, we are going on cooking our Sunday dinner, yesterday y'all seen me prep the Sunday dinner, cook the, uh, not cook the greens, but clean the greens, clean the chitlins, girl, y'all, <laughs> my chitlins boil down to nothing but like a pot, like a bowl. So, me and my daughter, we will be getting like two big full spoon like this. I mean, fork spoon of chili, chitlins. Girl, I can't talk this morning too early. It's about 10 o'clock. Like I said, I like my dinner to be ready by 12. Now, I got my greens, collard greens going. They almost done. Chitlins over here, bubbly and happy. Y'all, let me show y'all how, this is how much chitlins I got. Can y'all see that? That's how much I got out that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I am getting ready to put my red bell peppers I cut up in my greens right now. So I did that off camera. But I put my red bell peppers in there. Yes, bring it color, honey. Give it color, sis. Give it color. Yes, you see that? Oh, my phone don't fall in. Y'all see that? Ooh, get them green some color. Yes, you're going to see me in my same shirt because uh, I didn't change it yet. Okay. No, I didn't sleep in it. I just threw it right back on. I don't have no bra on, so. Y'all need my girls flying. Y'all need to see them things flying around. Okay. So now all I got to do is just do my macaroni and cheese. And do my cornbread. And dinner would be done. I need to. I need to get me a registry. I need some pots and pans. Look at these pots and pans. Look at them. They match match. I don't have one for my macaroni and cheese. I got to take the, the chitlins out. And put them in a bowl so I could cook the macaroni and cheese. I don't have another pot. My other pot, I burnt it up on a mistake. But you guys know what I want? The set I want. And I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go price it. Uh, the Pioneer. I like the Pioneer set. The Pioneer Lady? Yes. I want that set. And I'm going to get it. I don't know when, but I'm going to get it. How, let me see. Big sis, got a question. And I know everybody goes through this in their household. Where in the hell does the toilet paper go? And where in the hell does all the forks go? I mean, every time I'm cooking or something, I can't find a fork. I'm like, is my daughter throwing them away? Did my daughters throw them away? They was living here. Girl, I can never find a fork when you need one. Toilet paper run out too quick. I'm like, is she taking them to school or what's she doing with that? I'm like, what is really going on? All off topic. All off topic, but. <laughs> so, I guess this would be uh, Vlogmas Day 2 on um, Cooking with Big Sis. So, I see you guys when I turn this camera back on. Hey. Okay, sis, it's time to get this macaroni and cheese started. I had to run to Walmart real quick and get me this nice here Wolfgang pack. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, y'all know that stuff I was using wasn't matching. So, yes, I had to run to Walmart real quick and, and get this little set, you know. So, <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. I already had it. Um, but yeah, this set is called, uh, Wolf Gang, uh, Pat, no, Wolf Gang Puck, P-U-C-K, Puck. Okay, now the water's boiling, I could put the noodles in here for the mac and cheese. Now, I do need to get me a new, uh, pot set, though. I really do, so. Yes, I'm gonna cheat with this macaroni and cheese. My, uh, my middle daughter thought I was cooking. Homemade macaroni and cheese. I guess she's off work today. She's like, oh, mama, I want some. But 
that was last week. You guys remember when I did the um, when I make the ribs and I made homemade macaroni and cheese. So today I'm just gonna cheat with this and I'm just gonna add more cheese to it, you know, make it nice and good. And now I just gotta do my cornbread last. And dinner is served. So we're gonna let that get all happy and get tender. So we can go ahead and mix it up. And then after we make that, we can uh, we can play and then it'll be ready. Oh yeah, this ain't nothing but like two big spoons of chitlins in there in here. <laughs> My greens are looking good. Yo yo. I don't know if y'all seen that, but let me see. Let me show you. Y'all probably be like, that's too much uh, soft pork in there. No, it's not, honey. It's just enough as if you was using a ham hock or whatever. But you really can't tell. You'll see when I plate. So. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and drain the noodles. They are done. So we can go ahead and mix it up. And what I am going to use in my macaroni and cheese is some seasoning salt, some garlic uh, powder, and some black pepper. And that's it. And some extra uh, sharp cheese I'm going to mix it with. So let me rinse this. Drain it and rinse it. Okay, I'm going to put that back. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cheese it comes with. And I need to add in some butter and maybe a little milk. I think this is the four cheeses. I've never used this one before. Four cheese sauce. It's my first time going to be using this one. So, Either way, my daughter going to like it. So, that, let's get some butter on my cute little butter dish, yes. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break it. The corn, ooh, that's hot. The cornbread is in the oven. Go ahead and mix this up first before I put the other cheese in. Oh no, I don't need no milk. I don't need because it's already juicy. Okay, let's add some extra cheese. Some sharp. Let's turn that fire down on two. I'm gonna put just a little at a time. Our right, seasoning salt. That's not much. Garlic powder. Sis, I was gonna make some hot water cornbread too, but I changed my mind and feel like doing all that. And let's get that all happy and stirred up. And get it all good and cheesy. I hope everyone gonna have a good good Sunday today. I am blessed. I woke up this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, my good Lord Savior up there. Cause last, cause this morning somebody did not wake up, and I feel for they found me. So after I eat, well, I'm going to eat, I'm going to get me a Miller Lite. I'm going to watch me some Netflix. 
and I'm gonna be chilling the rest of the day, honey. Now I'm done with mixing that, and all we do is just put cheese at the top, turn the fire off, and let that cheese melt. I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper on top though, so it can look like it's homemade, but it's not. <laughs> Okay. But when that melt into the cheese, it's gonna look very, very good. Mm, mm, mm. You know, fat people know how to cook. And we're gonna cover that. Let that get all happy. Cornbread is in the oven, and the chitlins is almost done. Greens is done. Mac and cheese is done. My chitlins is pretty much done, but that's pork. I like to overcook my pork because uh, <laughs> sister girl don't want no little things up in her. Okay, little parasites. No, I eat chitlins. I'm going to say this one time, and I'm going to say it loud. I eat chitlins once a year or once every two years. I really don't eat pork that much. I love my bacon, but uh, that's about it. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I don't know. Can you see? You can't see it like that, sis. But she all bubbly. Oh, my phone don't fall in. That's my homemade mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys when I plate. Bon appetit. Okay, sis, I have plated our food. It is now done. These are the chitlins. Oh, my, my, my. Aren't they tender? The homemade macaroni, not the homemade, box made macaroni and cheese. But I did a little extra, extra to it. We have our greens here. Yes, ma'am. We have our cornbread here. Look how thick my cornbread is. <laughs> but them chitlins, though, y'all. Like I said, I only eat chitlins once a month. I mean, once a year. I'm sorry. Or every other year. I don't eat chitlins like that. Um, that pork, you know, pork can give you a headache. So, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Have a nice Sunday meal. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like what I cooked. And for our dessert, we will be having some cinnamon rolls. That's for our dessert, and it's only five in here. So like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. Bon appetit. You guys have a blessed Sunday.